Bank Development Corporation. This is our 25th year. We've serviced Southwest Detroit and uh, some surrounding downriver communities, um, primarily focusing on the Latino community, but everybody in our neighborhood. Fantasma Market and Cafe and our social entrepreneurship program is a project that we started last year, kind of coming out of COVID. A lot of Detroiters started a side hustle during COVID as a way to make money because everybody kind of, we were out of work. So we're trying to turn side hustles into real thriving businesses. Majority of our vendors are female. Um, so women owned businesses and people of color owned businesses um, is really our focus. Every week now we have about 20 vendors, uh, a different pop-up kitchen, and then we have different music performers, uh, different themes. So we can be a comedy show, it can be a next week is a drag show. Uh, we had a fashion show showing all Detroit fashion designers. So it's just, it varies every week to try to keep the community interested and engaged. We had on schedule already for tonight uh, salsa pachata night. Um, to have salsa dancing in that. But when the hurricane hit a couple weeks ago, I woke up that morning, we needed to do something. Puerto Rico was hit hard a couple years ago, and it was not rebuilt, and there are a lot of families struggling. A lot of our community members, families who live there, whose houses don't have roofs, who are still having tarps, who are, whose infrastructure was trashed during Maria, and then they got hit again. Um, so I woke up that next day after hearing it on the news and I'm like, we need to turn this into a fundraiser. And so immediately we sort of began to identify uh, the different groups on the ground that were doing good work, um, that were doing direct work with people affected and thinking about what their needs are, right? Um, what are the people's needs and what are the organization needs? We began to list those things and, and name those groups. Casa Pueblo in Adjuntas, Puerto Rico, and uh, Taller Salud are the two main organizations. And then we know community organizers and activists who are doing wellness checks and door knocking. Um, and they have their hands on the pulse of what the people need. And the idea is to skip all the middle, middle men, middle women, and just get the aid directly to them. In Puerto Rico, Puerto stand up. All these community organizers coming together for one cause, you know, it's, it's, it's this event's kind of speaking with music and then speaking also with different fundraisers and different companies that come together and see what we could do, you know, to, to help. This is that Detroit thing, this is that Detroit thing, you cannot be champion if you hold it no race. We have a bunch of different Puerto Rican artists who are from the neighborhood who are coming to um, represent for Puerto Rico and perform to raise money for the fundraiser. A lot of them are in the hip hop world and a little bit in the Latin scene. Singers, uh, rappers, uh, reggaeton artists that wanted to just contribute their time and lend their voice to the cause because it's their family who's hurting. I mean, Puerto Rico seems far, but when you're Puerto Rican, you always have family there. You always have a tie to the island. So even though it's a, a long distance away, it's also here. So everybody here hurts. I have family back there and it's just devastating to know that they don't have the resources they need and they don't have electricity and working water and it's honestly not right. My family's 100% Puerto Rican and my grandmother's actually from Yabacoa, Puerto Rico. That's just in our blood and that's definitely in my blood and I definitely feel a deep connection. And that's kind of like, well, me personally, is why I decided to perform, not only to kind of help relief and how to bring awareness or whatever, but kind of like it was my way of standing up for Puerto Rico. Music communicates with everybody. It brings people together. All the different people here, enjoying the music, you know, here for a cause. Art and culture transcends race and ethnicity in a very po powerful way. And I think that there's also a common thread behind a lot of uh, popular music in general, but Latino-Hispanic music, so the bachata, merengue, the salsa. There's some differences, but then there's this undergirding similarity, which is um, the African sound, the African rhythm. And because of that, I think it also transcends cultures, right? So hip hop, reggaeton, even Motown music, um, and so because of that, I think that art and culture has a way of, of building bridges in a very unique and powerful way. And I think that's what you see in Southwest Detroit. It really, it 
is the culture, it's home. Like I hope that it gives everybody a sense of the love and joy you feel in your heart when you think about the island. I love that in DHGC they really focus on bringing the cultural aspect back. Can you just always feel that love when you're in the building? You feel like you belong and you're accepted. intro to my performance is actually a piece that I actually recorded from my grandmother and my mother and it's pretty much answering the question of what Puerto Rico means to them. Puerto Rico. This idea of mutual aid and this idea of like solidarity um, is very um, organic to Detroit. Um, and is very present in the islands. And so that connection was bound to be made and, and bound to be effective. We will continue to raise funds um, until we get word, right, from our uh, comrades on the islands that, that things are, are, are better and things are good. We'll continue to raise funds probably through uh, the new year, um, if if the energy is there, I think any way or any opportunity where people come together and, and show support, solidarity, but also enjoy themselves in one another's presence in, in a positive sort of element, right, in a positive environment. Um, I mean, I I go home with my heart full. Turn to the left. Basic. There's always something new every Friday. Um, so if you check us out on Facebook or Instagram at Fantasma Market and Cafe, um, you'll be able to see what we have coming up. And then you can sign up to vend or be an entertainer or be a pop-up kitchen. And the atmosphere is different every time you come here. But the one thing that stays constant is that we have a family of vendors and people who work here and it really starts to feel like a community. Everybody here knows each other, loves each other, helps each other out. I think it's really beautiful that the community can come together and do something like this because it's giving us a reason to all come together and just celebrate our culture and spend time with each other. But we're also raising money for a great cause for the people back at home in the island.